The neighborhood gem here in the D where you can indulge in the authentic taste of European cuisine at reasonable prices. This is family owned. This is a restaurant that cooks Hungarian dishes from scratch every single day. They won vote for the best the last three years in a row for best ethnic restaurant. Michelle Oliver is taking us to Southgate to dine in the D at Hungarian Rhapsody. From the artwork, to the dolls, to the gorgeous tablecloths. When you walk into Hungarian Rhapsody, you feel like you're in another country. We'd like to try to display all our Hungarian artifacts. Uh, the different Hungarian style, the pottery, and uh, each and every table has a hand embroiled uh, Hungarian decoration tablecloth also. This is like old world charm, as if they were going to an old time Hungarian charda. These are Hungarian restaurants in the villages. Stephen is originally from Hungary and runs the restaurant with his family. My dream was always to create a Hungarian restaurant. In 93, he opened up the Hungarian Rhapsody. My wife is responsible for the desserts and my daughter mostly running the business with the wait staff and a bar area and all that thing. Here they serve up hearty, authentic Hungarian dishes making them from scratch and with a lot of love. The Hungarian goulash, we serve it in a kettle. It's a beef goulash with mixed vegetable and dumplings in it also, stuffed cabbage. It's a home cooked meals, all of them. None of them are the so-called short cuts. We have to cook it a long, long time. Their signature dish is chicken paprikash with homemade dumplings. We begin with the onions, which have to be cooked low and slow until they are perfectly golden brown and caramelized. Now what are we doing? We are going to add our diced red and green bell peppers and our red tomatoes. As I stir, he adds in the Hungarian paprika and chicken stock. So then that becomes this really pretty red color. Yes, but after that, you add the raw chicken. And cover them with the sauce. Come on, flip. There we go. And we would let this cover and cook. When it comes up to a full boil, we let it cook for 20 minutes. So this is a very long, intensive process. Yes. Once the chicken is done, it looks like this. Oh, nice. And then out of this, after we take the chicken out, we use a sour cream habarash to make the pop sauce. What is a habarash? It's kind of like a thickening agent. Okay. It's uh, sour cream, flour. Um, some milk, or we use heavy cream here because it's a better product. And then when you add that to the juice and you let it boil, come up to a simmer, it all thickens and awesome. comes together. Finally, we put the dish together, starting with their fresh dumplings, then adding the marinated chicken and topping it with the creamy paprikash sauce. I uh, enjoy the challenge, the hunger and cooking, and I love my customers. It just gives me a good, good feeling to have a nice restaurant. Yeah. Are you hungry yet? Joining us now is uh, Steve Zatmari, who is the co-owner of Hungarian Rhapsody. Good to see you again, my Thank friend. Thank you very much. Every Mr. five years we seem to get together <laughs> one way or another, right? Thank you. Just mm -hmm. awesome to have you back. So uh, everybody should be hungry. So how did you come up with this name, Hungarian Rhapsody? We were with my wife uh, trying to get some names, paprikash and different Hungarian names. Uh -huh. And I like classical music and the list, uh, Franz Liszt. Hungarian Rhapsody music came on and it just gave me the idea. Right <laughs> there you go. The, All right, so yeah. I see some familiar dishes. So it's not just Hungarian, it's Eastern European influence, right? So, yes. Yeah. We have the chicken paprikash, which is our signature okay. dish also with the dumplings. We have stuffed cabbage. Uh -huh. which is uh, all Eastern Europe, they make it the same way. Yeah. The veal paprikash with the dumplings and the That's Hungarian goulash. Here, yes. Right? Yeah. And the Hungarian goulash, which also is a Hungarian dish, is typical Hungarian dish. And why in a kettle? Why is it served in a the, kettle? Um, the shepherds, long, long time ago, on a field, on an open field, they made the goulash with open fire. And that's what they came up with. So we got those things from uh, from kettles from Hungary. Wow. And that's the way we serve it. Okay, and, and I recognize the sour cream cucumbers and right away. Cucumber and sour cream, that's uh, one of our favorite salad. When I was a kid, so Czech, uh, Czech, Austrian, I mean, these are influences as Eastern, well, right? Yes. German. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, all the um, cucumbers, so we can have it with or without sour cream. We make it with sour cream. Yeah the Germans also. All right, so tell us about your desserts real quick because uh, we see something that looks like a building of, we, don't go in front, we want to get a good shot. Okay, we have a cremesh, uh -huh. uh, which is uh, like a custard cake, it's very, very uh, popular, 
and a Dobosh tort, which is a Hungarian okay. creation. Uh, the name by Dobosh Yozef created it, itself, world famous. We have okay. to get uh, we have to get Tati and Jason so, in here because your yeah. your desserts are off the chart. I mean, the the entrees are one thing, but the desserts are just incredible. Now, are Thank these for us much. to sample? Yes, sir. All we right. Have a goulash, Hungarian goulash with beef. Okay, onions and green pepper. Veal paprika is veal sour cream. Chicken and dump. I'll oh, you're going for the, for the tea, dessert? Okay. I'll go for the right. cake. Hey, if you want to try, I'm going to the cake. are you? Yeah, go yeah. for it. Because now that looks like a Napoleon <laughs> to me, Steve. Is that yes. similar? That's a Hungarian version of it. It is, but it's uh -huh. like a building. It's like a skyscraper of cream. Oh. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I Crazy. mean, sorry, Randy. No, no, look calories. At how, uh, no calories. No calories. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I'm so happy. <laughs> so hey, if you want to try Hungarian Rhapsody, we are giving away. Get a load of this. Oh my gosh. Ten cards for a dinner for two. To enter, go to our Facebook page, Live in the D Facebook page, and we've got contest rules for you uh, at clickondetroit.com. It is good to see you. It's always, Thank it's you always very a pleasure seeing you. And this is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Awesome. Next on